A grammatical problem that has defeated Sanskrit scholars since the 15th century BC has finally been solved by an Indian PhD student at the University of Cambridge. Rishi Raj Popat made the breakthrough by decoding a rule taught by Panini, who's also remember known as the father of linguistics and is now encapsulated in his thesis entitled In Panini, We Trust Discovering the Algorithm for Rule Conflict Resolution. So a big, big moment for India and certainly an Indian student studying in Cambridge, making all of us proud. Let's listen in from him. We earlier spoke to him with regards to this big breakthrough. Here's what he had to say. Rishi, thank you for taking out your time and speaking to us here on Times Now. First of all, many, many congratulations. But I want to begin by asking you, what is it that inspired you to take up this subject, a subject that's left many scholars perplexed for so many decades altogether? So thank you very much for your wishes and thank you for having me. Um, well, I came to Panini by accident, actually. So I had studied Sanskrit in high school and uh, I studied, I, I went to this Navratri Pandal during the summer of uh, my 12th class. And I met someone there and they told me that there's this teacher uh, who happened to live very close to where I did, who teaches Panini. So that's why I started going to, to the class. And when I was doing Panini, when I was studying his grammar with my teacher, I realized that there were very many uh, parts of the of the of the technical functioning of the grammar mm -hmm. uh, that either she could not explain to me as clearly as I have liked, or sometimes uh, she she very honestly told me that she doesn't know the answer to that. So I started looking in the books to see if I can find a satisfactory solution to some of the problems that I thought existed, and uh, surely enough, I couldn't. So I would say that is what uh, brought me to think that. Uh, if, 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 if no one's found it yet, I suppose I should uh, jump in and see if I can make any contributions. Mm -hmm. So it's your curiosity that perhaps led you to this big, big breakthrough. Rishi, you know, simplify it for us. The Ashtadhyayi text by Panini consists of a series of rules for deriving new words from the root word. Now, what is the right. problem that many were facing for the longest time in really understanding this concept and how is it that you cracked it? So one of the biggest challenges was actually over these 2,500 years is that a lot of people thought that there was no problem and things were good the way they were. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the fact is that uh, often, as you said, when you derive, uh, when you try to derive a grammatically correct form, starting with uh, the root and the suffix, what happens is uh, you, you're supposed to apply rules over a series of steps. So you apply one rule at, at each step and then you've got multiple such steps. What happens is that at a certain step, very often, two rules become simultaneously applicable. Now the question is, which of these two simultaneously applicable rules do you choose? Or put differently, uh, there occurs a conflict between these two rules. And how do you resolve this rule conflict? So in his grammar, Panini has taught us just one rule, which helps us resolve this rule conflict. In other words, which helps us pick one of these two rules. Mm -hmm. um, but that one rule had been misinterpreted right from the right from the time the first commentary on this grammar was written all the way up to almost very recently, shall we say. Okay. And so, yeah. And, and now you're telling us that Panini's language machine may now be taught to computers as well for the first time. That's so big in itself, thanks to your efforts. So now that we've got a very simple algorithm, which is teachable, we can teach the, we can use the algorithm to teach the grammar to the computer. That's correct. Until now, the challenge was that the so-called uh, system that was being used to run the grammar was so complex that it was hardly understandable to humans, let alone humans being able to teach it to the computer. And that has changed now. Okay. And, and you think the interest in Sanskrit per se is also growing. And in that sense, this breakthrough will further revolutionize the study of Sanskrit at this crucial juncture this language is seeing? Well, I certainly do think that uh, interest in Sanskrit is growing both uh, in India and elsewhere. So, well, well, I, I, I mean, I'm not a fortune teller, but I do certainly hope that this discovery will inspire students uh, 